Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena Aguirre I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. Um, if you guys have been following me for some time, you know I went MIA for a little bit and that's very unusual for me. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into the video of why I've been MIA. And yeah, so definitely make sure to hit that like button, hit that bell button. It'll notify you guys every time you guys post a new video or every time I post a new video. And it does really help with the YouTube algorithm. So please be sure to comment and like the video. That is really, really um, something that means a lot to me when you guys do do that just because it really does help my video get out there and it reach more people. Hey, Papa, don't stand on the bed with your shoes. No. Here, take out your shoes. <clears throat> no shoes on the bed. No. Yep. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> all right, you guys. You guys might see my son kind of going all over the place in the background, but it is because I am, when I'm not working, I am with my baby. So he is with me all the time. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So, um, basically, I want to talk about where I've been at, what I was doing, my thoughts, and everything going on. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so basically what's been going on is uh, the whole reason why I haven't been posting. One is because I got really, really sick. And then after um, we were quarantining for two weeks and then after, um, after getting sick, we did end up getting in a car accident. The car accident was something like super, super minor. It wasn't like anything crazy. So I've just been handling stuff about that. Um, but dealing like with the whole quarantine thing and waiting for my family to get better waiting to go um to be able to work again and stuff like that it has it was really really stressful um but just because it's like you're stuck with your thoughts and i feel like with me a lot of the times is with myself it's like if i have too much time to think it's actually a really 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 bad thing for myself um and that was the case so basically we we're home we had endless amounts of time and so i was just sitting there and think and think and think and yeah it was not good huh isn't that good <laughs> he wants to be in the video you guys he sees me talking to the camera and he's like <laughs> mimicking me <laughs> so um yeah, like I, I don't know like it so it's just been really hard for me mentally to get back in the routine of things because I was just not the first week I just couldn't do anything the second week it was just like getting my energy back like I tried to edit some stuff for you guys so I could have it uploaded and be on top of my game but I just feel like honestly you guys I just couldn't like my just my attention span and everything else it was just really really hard so we were in quarantine i colored my hair um i just ended up doing a diy thing if you guys want a video of how i did it the first time you might see that a little bit of that red in there i might be posting a video up on my personal channel i don't know yet we'll see but basically i dyed it the first time i did not like it I dyed it again and I don't know I'm kind of going back and forth I need to tone it I don't know what color to tone it um, I did do like a thing on my IG and everybody said do it red and then I did end up coloring John's hair too um, he ended up putting like are we put green and blue in it it was kind of like a color melt thing so we did that um, but other than all that like honestly you guys we've been good um, the baby handled everything really, really well. John did too, and so did I, thankfully. Um, so, um, another thing that I want to talk about is, like, basically what I've been thinking, just because I had all this time to think. So, kind of, I just kind of want to explain. Um, <laughs> Papa, stop. I do want to kind of explain um, where my head's at mentally. So, our where it was at and what it's at now so since i had a ton of time to think about things i ended up actually thinking like i don't know like being by yourself that long oh my gosh it's horrible um but um yeah so basically i was thinking like i don't even know if i should do nails like i don't even know like um, I feel like I was just like really hard on myself. I was able, like I would see other people as like 
pages and stuff like that and i feel like especially when you're working so hard towards things and you're creating so much work that you love and enjoy i feel like it's been hard because it's just like i look at my work and i just i love it are there some pieces of my work where i just i'm not happy with it and um it's i i am really 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 hard on myself and then i think that's where a lot of my frustration comes from yeah. because it's like I see other people who have been doing nails less than me that like their following is a lot larger than mine and I feel like their work is a lot better than mine. It's just been really hard just because it's like I feel like I'm comparing myself to so many other people like and it's just like seeing them being things that are seeing them doing things that I dreamed of. I guess I'm a little bit a little I guess yeah like I I am jealous about it just because it's like but not like in a hateful way like I don't ever want to like I'm happy for them but sad for myself um and so I feel like honestly that was something that I was like dealing with too is because I'm just like gosh like I just feel like is this it I've been doing nails for seven years and I just feel like I'm just like kind of like plateauing like it's just like where everything is just like the same like nothing's changing and stuff like that and I just feel like it's been like really hard for me mentally because it's like I want to grow like I want to be able to share and I want um like the community that I I'm in to be able to like I don't know to see myself flourish and feel like I'm really content about where I'm at and honestly you guys i'm not and that's what is like really discouraging for me because it's just like i don't know like i see people that have only been doing nails for like two <laughs> years and it's like they're they're doing those things you know um but i know it is just as much work as you put into it that what you're gonna get out of it but not even kidding you guys i feel like it's just like no matter what even if i tried to do like um any of those things that people would like say like oh like make sure you do three posts a day like for a while I was doing that um, three posts a day I was doing that make sure you're following and things like I don't know there are so many freaking different things of how to grow your followings and I would excuse me um I would try so many and I felt like it was never ever ever going anywhere so like it would just get me frustrated and I'll be like okay let me try a new method and it wasn't like I just tried it for a little bit I would try it for a while and then and so now I feel like with my IG page I feel like it's just I'm very inconsistent with it at the moment but it's because it's just like I don't know I guess out of frustration yeah. and instead of this being fun like what it was like it ended up turning like social media turned into a job for me youtube started to feel like a job for me and then of course my job of doing nails started to like i felt like i was just like i would do a set and the shaping wouldn't be on point on all like it might just be one finger that was off and then i wouldn't post the picture of it because of the fact i wanted everything to be flawless like and it's just like to other people it is flawless but to me like i just feel like it's like my expectations for my nails needed to be like through the roof like and then it's crazy because it's just like some of the work that i do that i'm like oh my gosh like everyone's going to love this and then it gets like 16 likes on it like i'm like what the heck you know so i guess i'm just i've just been really hard on myself like when it comes to that just because it's just like I try so hard at it like I don't know like I feel like I really do try you guys so I guess it's just like I just have been very very discouraged and I'm not at the time of being in quarantine honestly I was just like you know what I'm gonna stop I'm not gonna do this no more like I just can't like um I'm not gonna put myself through all of this and stuff it's just like damaging to myself like and as you guys know, I am a Cosmo, so, or a Cosmo, like, cosmetology, um, or cosmetologist, sorry, but, um, yeah, so I'm a cosmetologist, um, so I've been kind of thinking, like, maybe I should just go back to just doing hair, but, or, and then that's where I'm like, well, maybe I should just, I don't know, like, maybe I should just switch up everything that I'm doing, maybe I should just switch up and just do eyelashes and microblading, like, I feel like that would be cool um but just because i feel like i need things to like i don't know just do different things so i've been like thinking of maybe doing that it's something that's been at the back of my mind for the last six months i feel like um or maybe like the last year actually but so i have 
been thinking about doing that and it's been really really um frustrating for me because it's just like i really feel like i don't know what i want to do but then now going back into the rhythm of things and getting back into my schedule i do feel like i don't know like i feel like i'm like okay like I'm getting, I'm taking care of everything that I need to take care of. I'm doing everything I need to do. Like, I don't know, like, I feel happy again, you know? So I do feel like being isolated like that, I don't feel like it was really good for my mental health just because it really, like, made me look down on myself. Um, but it was nice, like, during that time, honestly, you guys, but just because I was able to spend time with my family. And I feel like a lot of times, like, I feel like when I'm, going like day to day i feel like even though i'm with my son all the time it's like a lot of times i'm working i'm trying to get stuff done like i want i don't know like i feel like it's just like with me like i really do want something better for my son and better for my family like sorry if i get emotional but just because it's like that is like a topic of like um i don't know like i just feel like it just makes me emotional but um and i don't want to get emotional but um like i don't know like i just want better for him i want to be able to take him places i want to be able to do stuff for him that like i was never able to do when i was a child you know just because it's like um growing up with me or with me growing up like honestly like i grew up with my grandparents um i started living with them like before i started kindergarten and then i lived with them ever since until i turned I think 19 and 19 I moved in with John and his family. John is my fiance and we've been together for 10 years. Um, so yeah. And so, um, so yeah, you guys. So like basically like I just want something better for myself, better for my family, be able to do experiences, you know, like honestly, <laughs> you guys are going to think this is crazy, but I've never really been anywhere. Like I live in California. Um, the furthest up north that I went was San Francisco one it was just a, the year before we had the baby we had a went and we did a road trip where we just went up there and it was so beautiful and um and i went on a cruise to ensenada i've been to nevada and arizona those are the only places i've ever been in my life so i feel like definitely with me i do want to be able to travel and do those things because it's like growing up like we never really went anywhere like any any places that we would go to was local and it's like even beach trips growing up like we never really did that and we live in california like where i live i think i'm like two hours away from the beach like i'm in so i'm like kind of location wise i'm like an hour away from la i am two hours away from the beach and but i'm three hours away from san diego so like and then i'm like three hours away from arizona and then you know so like that's kind of like i'm in the middle of a lot of things but i've never really been anywhere so it's just like i feel like for me it's really important to be able to do those things for my son and i do plan on having more kids so the fact of all of that like it's just like i just i feel like i just want to feel successful like not only for myself but for my children too you know just because I don't know like and i just feel like i guess like getting in my head that deep like i just started to feel like oh, like i started to talk down on myself and tell myself like i'm not as successful where i want to be i've been doing everything for so long now that i just don't feel like i'm anywhere close to where i imagine but i do feel like i need to take my wins and actually like write everything down where i do feel accomplished you guys because i don't know like and it's just like i want to be able to have all this stuff accomplished by a certain amount of time but i think i just need to work harder at it i don't know so basically i i know this rant is kind of like going on and on but yeah that's basically where i have been mentally emotionally um but now i'm really happy i'm so glad to be getting back into the swing of things just because especially with being self-employed it is really hard to get on a schedule and I feel like my schedule was kind of just thrown all around. My sleep, my sleep schedule is still not back to normal, especially for my son as well. My poor baby. Um, like, his schedule is all over the place. Like, right now it's his nap time, and he hasn't taken a nap. He woke up at 8 o'clock, and it is 12. He still did, hasn't taken a nap. And right now he's only, like, usually he'll take two naps sometimes, but right now he's at one nap. Where So he's just been, like, when he gets in a mood, he gets in a mood 
food you guys so it's just been like hard trying to juggle everything back and forth but i promise you guys i am going to be getting back on schedule i don't know if i'm going to be able to do the whole 30 days of october that's something that i really 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 did want to do for you guys but honestly you guys i just i honestly i just didn't have any time for it but please bear with me i'm so sorry that i wasn't able to get more content out for you guys but please know um i do want to try i still do want to try it might not be for the full 30 days but i do want to push out as much content as i can for you guys all right you guys with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> or i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say but I hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it wasn't something that you guys are used to the setup is different everything is different but yeah um please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as usual i'll be back with more videos bye